A U.S. government task force shook up the medical world this past week by recommending against a routine test for prostate cancer. As Wood Johnson tells us, the report has left many doctors and their patients in a quandary. Yeah, don't move, the PSA blood test had been considered the best way to detect prostate cancer. But after two decades, the U.S. Preventative Services Task Force now says it does more harm than good. PSA is not very accurate in terms of its ability to differentiate men who have cancer from men who don't have cancer. Dr. Michael Lefevre served on the panel, which determined PSA levels can be high from other causes, such as infections and an enlarged prostate. They can also be perfectly normal, even in men with the cancer. You're going to keep this for your record. The news wasn't stopping Samuel Presley from taking advantage of free testing in Baltimore, offered through a national nonprofit. What made you decide to come here and get this testing done tonight? And the possibilities, if you catch it early enough, it can be cured. If you don't, it'll kill you. The disease is more prevalent in African Americans. Treatments for prostate cancer like surgery and radiation can cause serious complications, including sexual dysfunction, loss of bladder control, and even death. Doctors here argue it's worth the risk. We are not putting people at risk. We, were, we are finding men who have this disease early. And when you find prostate cancer early, those men can be cured. 56-year-old Michael Matero Tonda, diagnosed with prostate cancer, believes the test saved his life. I've had a very successful outcome, and I'm happy where I'm at. But the task force concluded that at least one million men were treated for prostate cancer growing so slowly it never would have killed them. Even Dr. Richard Ablin, the man who discovered the PSA protein in 1970, says the test is overused. We didn't realize that it would create the controversy, the overdiagnosis, the overtreatment, and the billions of dollars that are basically wasted on a test that can't do what it's purported to do. And then you just get checked once a year. But doctors who believe it's the best shot at early detection don't plan on stopping anytime soon. Whit Johnson, CBS News, Baltimore, Maryland.